Hello everybody, I am in Builders Edition 3, uh, Creative Mode, and just kind of wanted to let you guys see what I've gotten so far. I have not really added too much. I have added, right in here, I added an office, and that helped to take up some of the space that was over here. So you actually have to go down a hallway to get to the two bedrooms or the washroom. So there's that. And then I've started to add, I don't think I added anything back here. I think it's still just, oh, I missed a box, bar. Um, I added some stuff into my little bunk houses, just the, uh, the dressers and the, um, the, what do you call it, beds. And let me get this real quick. I must have missed it last time I was on. I'm trying not to build too fast off a of camera so that I can actually do a video. So anyway, um, this will be my living area. Uh, of course, it's not complete. And then I decided um, I had two and came in and said, where's the fireplace? And I was like, oh yeah, log cabin, you need a fireplace. So I put the fireplace in and I started to build a chimney. So whenever I get the roof on, I can go ahead and have my chimney. And so that's what I'm working on here. And obviously I have accidentally put my, uh, my blocks in a direction that doesn't match what's going on. So I'll have to fix that. And, um, and then whenever I get up to the top, I'm going to use these little smoke blocks. If you go to Easy Shop, um, let's see if I can find them. It is in a place. It's in a very, I think it's odds and ends. Yeah, odds and ends. You have a fire block, a mist block, and a smoke block. And all of these are really nice to be able to use. I guess I don't need another smoke block. So you've seen the smoke block. Let me get out of there. And so a fire block. Oh, that's the mist block. Okay, so you can add mist. Or you can do a fire block and you can make like a campfire and put this in there or a barbecue pit or something like that and make it look like it's actually working. These are really fun little gadgets. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this for now. Since I have it, I will keep it in case I need it. But we're going to put it outside because it will just be in my way. So let me move these real quick. That's pretty much all I've added. Um, like I said, I'm trying not to build too fast so I can actually make videos while I'm going. I went ahead and put up a divider wall. Um, that seems kind of weird. So I'm going to have to tie, tie my two walls together somehow so it doesn't look like it's just a freestanding wall. It just something, I don't know, maybe after I get the, the ceiling on it won't look so bad. We'll see how that looks. But um, for now, like I said, I'm working on this. Let me see um, which way it's facing. I'm still facing the wrong way. Let me rotate it. And try, that. Oop. try that one. Nope. Turn it. Really? Okay. Let's get down and try one of these. I want to rotate and turn or something. Turn it. Why isn't it going the way I want it to go? Well, fine, just fine then. I will leave it where it is. Okay, we'll just leave them the way they are right now. At some point, I'll figure it out, right? I don't know why that doesn't want to go the way I want it to go. It can, can't it? Um, I guess not. Okay. I'll figure it out. Um, so anyway, it's not... not a really big deal. It's just going to look awkward. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. 
I have somebody's in here convert. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. So let's fix these. Someone's in here wanting to speak with me, but he does not know I am doing a video. Let me pop over here and see what he says. Um, find a glitch. Menu glitch. Oh. Okay, so there is a menu glitch. And, um, uh, hold on. Glitch. So the menu button will disappear from the top of your screen. It has to do with your blueprints. As you see, I do not have one up here right now. Do I have I don't have anything in my thing. So all you do is click any button that's not the blueprint button. I usually choose the easy shop and then close it. And then your menu button comes back. So let me just tell him that real quick. So menu, I didn't spell right. Menu glitch. Press. Ah. Easy shop. Bottom. And again, menu comes back. The creator is aware of this problem, so um, just so you know, it's it's. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be able to be fixed right away. If it's something that's being worked on, I I don't know for sure. So there is a menu glitch. It's easily fixed. You don't have to leave and rejoin. What do we have here? We have a gap. Well, that's not cool. Okay, I need to fix my gap. Um, let me fix that after I get my side bits up. I might have to re-rotate. Re, uh, I want to get these up real quick. And I'm just guessing, I'm just going to put the roof up, or the uh, chimney up this high for now. And then I can make it taller if I need to later. But for right now, we're going to go this high. And then after I get my ceiling and my roof and all that going, it'll be cool because I'll have the smoke coming out the top. I got the fire going on on the inside. I have actually never done a fireplace with the chimney going all the way up and out. So this will be new for me. Oh, wrong place. Okay, so for now, I'm going to pretend that the height is as far as I'm going to go. I'll fix that back wall, and then I'll put my little smoky... Oh, man. I'll put my little smoky things in there. One more. Oh, one more. Oh. Get in there. There we go. All right, let me fix this. I don't know how I got that in such a weird way. Okay, it's facing the right way. Oh, wait, it's down here. Not sure how that glitched. There we go. Now we're even. And then put my little smoky things. Oh, wrong button. Let's put that back. I have deleted so many floors by accident. Or moved them. I don't know. My blonde was showing. Who knows? Oops. Um, go flat. There we go. Okay, so we're going to put this right there. And put the other one. 
I uh, can't see through the smoke. Come on. Go in. Go. Go in. Ah. Might have to move this block. You know what? It's easier to move this block. I think it'll be easier to straighten up. It's the only problem with the tiny ones. Oops. Jumped way up there, didn't I? There we go. And we'll put this one back up. Not in that direction. No, not rotate, silly. I want to turn it. Okay, that's right. Alright, there you go. Got a chimney smoking. So there you go. Easy peasy. Also, before I pop off, I wanted to show you... So, okay, so I have this little planter thing that I've made. And um, so I wanted to show you guys how to do that. It's with the glitch, if you get the glitch tool. Um, let me find it. Find it. Here it is. Okay, so you have your base. You put a base down. Okay, and then you have your little round piece oops, that goes on the base. And there. Okay, and then you have a plant. Go to the Easy Shop Garden Center. Pick a plant. I chose. Do, 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 do. This little guy. Okay. Okay. So we have that. Then we want our plant to be upright. Rotate. No, turn. There we go. Okay. So what you have to do is put this wherever you're going to put it. So I'll move it after the video. But for right now, let's use the black wood. I did this in the office. I was pretty proud of myself. And then... Um, if you have the glitch tool, you can do this with the with the uh, the 15 second or the extended. Either way, you just glitch out your not your bottom one, your top one, and then you move your plant into the section. And then when you reload, your your little round part will show up again, and then you have yourself a potted plant. How about that? So whenever I reload and come back in, I will have a potted plant on the floor and I will move it. So that is about it for this video. Very short and sweet. I hope you have enjoyed it and learned a little something about your little smoke fire and mist blocks. And um, happy building. This is Builders Edition 3 Creative Edition. I am Mama Rocks. Have a good day and a better tomorrow.